Hi everyone, Rabin here. Today we are going to talk about Rabbit Loader. It's a WordPress optimization plugin. Before we dive into the screens and implementations of this product, I want to talk a little bit about WordPress caching and optimization plugins. I have been testing and using a lot of WordPress optimization plugins such as W3 Total Cache, WP Fastest Cache, Perf Matters, WP Rocket, and Lightspeed Cache. So all of them have a common trait that it is pretty complex to actually configure the plugins, especially Lightspeed Cache. There are so many options that it can make you easily confused, but once it is configured, it works pretty well. Before we jump into the practical implementation of this plugin or the performance, help me by subscribing to the channel. Can really use your support. Use the subscribe button below to subscribe to the channel so I can help out as much as I can. Rabbit Loader just came into AppSumo. Now I will provide the link below so you can check it out. I have seen many comments about it that how it is performing or whether we can actually assess the usability of it. I have jumped in and spin up a site with a domain. I actually configured the site with sample posts, sample images. So it is pretty much a live site uh, without any other optimizations. Just the theme, uh, I use Cadence free version. Then I populated sample posts with images and put in this plugin to get into the action. So I have installed and then I realized the first thing because from our expectation, we think that once we configure the plugin, it will start to work immediately. But there are some other things such as if you are using Cloudflare for your caching and protection. In that case, you need to create a rule in the firewall to whitelist their IP. This is a requirement if you are using Cloudflare services. Now, beside that, once the plugin is configured, you have to give it a little bit of time to prepare the cache. So for example, my sample site had like 10 or 12 posts and just one sample page. And it took it like 30 plus minutes to actually do the first configuration. So be patient when the first configuration is getting ready. One thing that impressed me is that it is very simple. It means you do not have to click uh, so many checkboxes or configure so many things to get it running. Comes with their own CDN, their own critical CSS delivery system, and it is an all-in-one system. The benefit of this option is that you do not have to add in new services. For example, for Lightspeed Cache, I need to use QUIC services, and that, that might cost money. This is what I like, that it is very simple to start with, almost no configurations to be done and I'm going to show it whether each individual pages how is it working out in PHP insights now we can move to the block site let me switch the screen and then we are going to take a deeper look inside here you can see my sample blog which is a live site basically and there are some sample posts. It contains feature image. Some of them has a body image inside. Now we are going to take a look at the options that we have configured inside. And I will show you how simple it can be. It will tell you what is the best page speed score, which is 100 out of 100. An average score between other pages and non-optimized pages is 99 by 100, which is a great number to look at. Now. They have options that if you want to test it internally, you can just switch to me versus everyone. Right now, I kept it everyone because I want to test it in Google Page Speed Insights. Here you can see hot URL cache, image compression, and CSS reduction. Here you have the option to purge all the pages or purge a single page. Now let's take a look at the URL performance tab. So when it says queued means uh, it is going to ch check the pages in a batch and then update the numbers over here. So here are all the URLs. I have a sample page. I have this number of posts. Now look at the images. So it will tell you that from the JPG it is 32% faster. So what they will do, even though the file extension looks JPG, but it is actually not. It is using their own 
CDN URL to compress and convert it on the fly to WebP. So the other plugins, they also can do the job. For example, EWW. For that, you will need a separate paid service to optimize the images. Over here, they have already done it for you and they will scan it and tell you the differences between the loading speed. Now we are going to take a look at critical CSS. So you can see the critical CSS has been generated for this page. So critical CSS is something that when your page is rendering, it creates a CSS uh, code for the top of the page, which will be visible to the viewport. You can see the original CSS per page was about 210 KB uh, and optimized CSS page per page is 14 KB. So it's about 93% improvement. Average render time almost 1.1 second and after render time is 168 millisecond. Now you can see they have integrated CDN and it will give you a report. It will tell you which items are not cached and how many items are cached. This is the your quota when it will reset and how much you have already used. It also includes a little bit of demographics and you can see the top countries over here who is taking the most of the bandwidth and how many assets has been requested. This, uh, this utility is pretty simple to go with. I mean, if you have a busy site, I would recommend to turn this on. And this is the same one in the dashboard that turn on the me mode to do testing first. Uh, here you can exclude URLs. For example, you do not want to cache the contact form and ignore uh, URL parameters. Here you can see that your service is connected to Rabbit Loader and you can also manage page rules, origins and purge your access log. So this is about it. I think I never seen any optimization plugin as simple as this and which works pretty well because if we are going to inspect one of these, let's take a look. You can see the desktop speed is 100 overall and mobile speed is about 99, 98, 99, 99. Let's check whether this is real or not. I'm going to switch to page speed insights. I'm going to paste this URL. So what was the score for this? The score was 100 on desktop and 98 on mobile. So yes, it is correct, even better. The actual result is 99 on mobile and 100 on desktop. I think this is the fastest way you can gain speed. But having said that, there, there are complicated sites like WooCommerce sites, other site that uses a lot of plugins. If your site is overloaded with CSS, I'm not exactly sure how it will come out. But personally, I prefer something lean and fast. So as you can see, they didn't lie. But what we are going to check that actually they load the JavaScripts or not. Now we are going to check the same performance report on GT Matrix. So GT Matrix uses their own algorithm. And on top of that, they use Lighthouse scores. So they combine. Now I'm going to look at the GT Matrix performance report. And here you go. So your performance is 100 and structure is 100. So LCP was just 523 MS, which is pretty fast. What I have noticed in waterfall mode that it actually excluded all JavaScript files. So these are all the JPG files, critical CSS, but I do not see any JavaScript loading at all. I could be wrong, but this is what I have noticed. So what is my overall impression on Rabbit Loader? I think this is a powerful utility, simple. So the sites that are not overly complicated and have too many mechanisms going on, they can just install this plugin, activate it, and it give it some time. So usually I would give it a day before everything start working properly. Do remember that if you are using Cloudflare services, then you have to whitelist their IP. It is available in their documentation. I think compared to many other tools, this is a very fast to implement, easy to use utility. I hope it can be some help. So the previous score 
I forgot to take a snapshot of it. The previous score for the same website was 89 on desktop and mobile was 72. So from that, it came to nearly 100 by 99. So now you get a comparison out of it and see how it works out for you. I would recommend to get this. Also want to go through the plans. So you can see they have already included WordPress plugin, which is also WooCommerce compatible. Then it will boost the page speed score. It will create the above the fold CSS, which is basically critical CSS and will optimize JavaScript and CSS. Then it will lazy loading the below the fold images and videos, which is nice. And it will automatically convert the JPG and PNG images into WebP. Then it also will create LQIP and blurred image placeholder. So for $59, you can actually get 100 GB monthly traffic bandwidth, 5 websites and 25 page rules, unlimited page views. From tier 2, it already have 250 GB monthly traffic bandwidth and unlimited websites. So I think the sweet spot is here or tier 3 where you have 500 GB monthly traffic bandwidth. Now they also have tier 4 which is offering 1 terabyte monthly traffic bandwidth. If you have high traffic then you can use this. I'm going to test now how exactly it works out when I am not logged in, how fast it is rendering. Now I'm going to click go to my blog and as you can see it's pretty fast. Each of the post has a featured image attached. Some of them also has a body image. So I'm going to switch to another post. And another one. So I think it is pretty fast. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps me a lot. I will see you in the next video. Bye.